Bigwig's property is at 93 Kings Road, Federal. It's a charming rustic cabin, but it could do with some improvements. The owners have decided to go full on and renovate the bathroom as well as the kitchen to add value to their house. But it's an old property, nothing's level. Will they achieve their life stream or will it be disaster? Come with me, we'll have a look inside. Now these pro particular property owners are very lucky because they've got family on hand to help them. And luckily, um, the uh, brother-in-law is an accomplished tradesman. So how's it going, Mary? Well, we're doing okay. There's a few problems, but it's going to look good when it's finished. I'm sure it will. The, uh, the old vending is past its use by date. And we've got a nice new one to put in, it'll look great. We've just taken the S&P trap off. We're now taking taking off the number 62s, which are the plumbing fittings associated with the cotton coal water supply. We've taken the drawers out and the doors to make it easier. And when we, uh, when we get it out, it makes it much lighter. We don't want to carry heavy things out of the house. So it's all of ease of operation, and at this stage everything's going to the plan. Now like all the best laid plans, your renovations don't always go to schedule, and of course this one hasn't either. So what are you doing now, Greg? Well I've decided that it's become a very, bit of a dry old argument here, and we, it's getting late in the day, so I figured what we might do is uh, cap it all off and look forward to a very nice dinner tonight and uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Tomorrow there's another day, so we'll get stuck into it tomorrow, get it all finished, and then we can enjoy the, the bathroom by tomorrow night. There you go. It's so important to get a tradesman who knows what he's doing and knows the value of a good drink at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bathroom renovations are continuing apace, but this morning we nearly had a possible disaster. The feet on the vanity were missing. Where could they be? We looked everywhere. Would we find them? What would we do if we couldn't have found them, Greg? Well, we probably would have had to have wall mounted it and mounted it on, on with some coach bolts to make sure that they were safe and sturdy. But then when I've taken the plastic bag off the top, we've, we're, we've established our box of tricks. So we're okay now. But this is sort of what it's going to look like after it's um, put in place. Pretty simple in its in the procedure. But that's it without the feet. And that's our feet that go underneath, so it's going to be great. I'm sure you'll be happy. Fantastic. Now, the vanity's almost in place, everything's going well, but we've hit a snag with the loop. The access under the house is very, very narrow. Come and see. Okay, here we are under the house and um, Greg, the intrepid plumber for the time being, is crawled right under the floor space where he's got hardly any room at all. I don't know how he's going to do it. There's bearer beams and everything there. If we can't get up through the floor, it might be a disaster. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm under the house now and... Um it's almost impossible to work under here, but we're trying to avoid taking the floor area out in the bathroom and then retiling in order to gain accessibility for the connection to the toilet drainage. However, they may be able to, I may be able to, with reach, um, do the connection to the toilet, but it's very, very difficult. So we're assessing that at the moment with a bit of luck with our next report we'll have the uh, we'll have the appropriate answer for you okay super greg has managed with great difficulty we don't know how he did it always have good relatives on hand in your renovation project he's come up through the floor now so connecting the loo should be a relatively easy task here we have a very good tradesman he's come up through the floor He's done whatever he has to do with the loo. We don't have to replace the slate, so we've saved money. 
Um, it's your idea, yeah. Um, yeah, it could have been disaster, but it hasn't been. <laughs> <laughs> it's been perfect. Yeah, so what we managed to do, we managed to get underneath the house. The, the, uh, the degree of difficulty was very high, but we managed to get it done, and now the rest of it's easy. All we've got to do now is just install a toilet in its normal manner. And we've got the right set out, we've, we've checked that, we've, we've realised that we've only had to cut out half of a, uh, a, a slate tiles, which is good. This is a concealed pan, so it covers over most of the, most of the slate anyway, so um, you won't virtually see any part of that. So we're very pleased that we're able to finish it off now in a professional manner, and uh, we'll have a nice cold drink when it's all finished, eh? Down to well, this job is almost finished and it's fantastic. And Greg, what, what, how do you think this has increased the value of this property? Oh, well, it's done extremely well now, particularly that you've got two toilets. And what you're demonstrating here is a close couple system, which is the more modern style, so that you, um, you don't see that pan collar anymore and it's very easy to clean around and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it does add value. But more importantly, it's very easy cleaning and so forth. So um, we're just doing the final stages now. We've just got to put the seed on and then we'll test it all and we'll have that drink that we'll be waiting for all the, all the time. The vanity unit is um, in place, working perfectly. We've just got to now uh, determine what sort of tiles we're going to dress it with and we're going to put some nice trim around the, the outside so it finishes it off beautifully, ready for to admire with all, with all the visitors. Well, this renovation has had its challenges, but I think you'll agree with me that when you see the results, we're not quite there yet, but we will be very soon, it looks absolutely fantastic. No more disasters. No more disasters. So, Greg, what do you think? Well, <laughs> I'm happy if you are. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I think it looks great. But, um... The, the testing part over here was the, the level of the, the fall of the floor, the gradient of the floor versus the level of the vanity. We're lucky that you've got a, a good quality vanity which allows us to adjust the feet to, to level it all up. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, uh, that's good. So I'm happy now. So that means when you cut the tiles in above your splashback um, that you have uh, each tile is cut the same height. So the end result is it looks looks great and it has a professional finish. So we've got to put some final trim on it and the fi final grout and so forth. A bit of grouting and cleaning and we'll yep. be spot on. Well, we'll come back and, and see all that later, but I think you've done a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Well, Greg, that's the end of a job well done. Um, we are all agreed it looks fantastic. Thanks, Rosie. And um, just tell me, is there anything you would have done differently? I think um, you've helped me a lot, you and Phil, with the way that you have set out the bathroom. It helped me tidy up a few loose ends from the technical aspect of the, of the renovation. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, mixing our ideas together, I think you'll find we've reached the result that we've all wanted. Well, I think it looks pretty good. I have to agree with that. That's so, good. Thank you very much. I'd like to take this opportunity, if I may, to thank you and Phil for giving me the opportunity to upgrade your bathroom. Mm -hmm. and also to uh, thank uh, Sapphire Bathrooms who have been, been kind enough to uh, uh, allow us to purchase the, uh, the goods at an extremely good price mm -hmm. and um, the fact that you're in the northern part of New South Wales doesn't deter them from supplying goods between Sydney and Brisbane so that's excellent mm -hmm. and um, I'd also like to thank Aurora who has um, kindly um, done a goodwill gesture for the costing for the for the goods, so that's helped us all um, achieve our goals. Well, we'd like to thank everybody too because it's just been wonderful. Thanks, Rosie. And thanks, Phil. And okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Pleasure. Drive safe. You have a nice day. Thanks for giving us the opportunity. Okay. Bye, Rosie. Thank you. Good. See you later. Take care. You too. There goes someone who knows how to put in bathrooms.